Hi everyone, it's Mr. Buddock here. I uh, hope you enjoyed yesterday's story. I've got a new story today. Uh, the story I'm reading today is called Stuck, uh, and it's another story by Oliver Jeffers. So, let's have a read. It all began when Floyd got his kite stuck in a tree. He tried pulling and swinging, but it wouldn't come unstuck. The trouble really began when he threw his favourite shoe to knock the kite loose. And that got stuck too. He threw up his other shoe to knock down his favourite shoe. And unbelievably, that got stuck too. In order to knock down his other shoe, Floyd fetched Mitch the cat. Cats get stuck in the tree all the time, but this was getting ridiculous. So Floyd fetched a ladder. He was going to sort this out once and for all. And up he threw it. And I'm sure you can guess what happened. The ladder got stuck too. The ladder was borrowed from a neighbour and he would definitely need to put it back before everyone noticed. And in order to do so, Floyd flung a bucket of paint at it. But wouldn't you know, the bucket of paint got stuck too. Then Floyd tried. A duck to knock down the bucket of paint. A chair to knock down the duck. His friend's bicycle to knock down the chair. The kitchen sink to knock down his friend's bicycle. Their front door to knock down the kitchen sink. The family car to knock down the front door. The milkman to knock down the family car. An orangutan to knock down the milkman, who surely had somewhere else to be. A small boat to knock down the orangutan. A big boat to knock down the small boat. A rhinoceros to knock down the big boat. A long distance lorry to knock down the rhinoceros. The house across the street to knock down the long distance lorry. A lighthouse to knock down the house no longer across the street. A curious whale in the wrong place at the wrong time to knock down the lighthouse. And they all got stuck. A fire engine was passing by and heard all the commotion. The fireman stopped to see if they could help. Can we help? And they went up. First the engine, followed by the firemen, one by one. And there they stayed, stuck between the orangutan and one of the boats. The fireman would definitely be noticed missing, and Floyd knew he'd be in big trouble. Then he had an idea, and went to find a saw. He lined it up as best as he could, and he hurled it up to the tree. And that was it. There was no more room left in the tree and his kite came unstuck. Bop. Floyd was delighted. He'd forgotten all about his kite and put it to use immediately, enjoying the rest of his day. That night, Floyd fell asleep exhausted. Though before he did, he could have sworn there was something he was forgotten, forgetting. Hmm... The end. Right, I hope you enjoyed that story. Um, that's another one of my favourite books from Oliver Jeffers. Um, and I'll see you again tomorrow with a new story. See ya. Bye.